find the focus, directrix, and graph. What? Parabolas. We need this guy. What is it? y squared minus 4y minus x plus 3. Which one of these two preferred forms is that guy? I see that the y is squared, so it must be this one. Now, to put it into preferred form, I'm going to get everything that's not y over to the other side, and I did that here right now. So that's y squared minus 4y. That's going to be, that's going to be, that's going to be x minus 3, x minus 3, x minus 3, y. Vroom, vroom. Yeah, by the time you're at this level, you're, at a, you're a Jedi. Mm -hmm. Just move that with your eye. What do I need? I need to complete that square. Dun, 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 dun. The no nonsense, no thinking approach to completing the square. This is the middle coefficient. It's minus four. Sure. The middle coefficient over two. That's a minus two. Oh, and then the middle coefficient over 2 squared is 4. Sure, because I take half the middle coefficient squared and I add it to both sides. So I add it to this side and I add it to that side. Why? Because we're completing the square. This is the no-nonsense, no-thinking approach to completing the square. It means I just go y and that guy, the middle coefficient over 2 squared. And then that's going to be an x plus one. Fun. Now, since we're trying to get in a preferred form, I factored out a one. Okay, I didn't really. There's just a one out in front, and that's this guy, right? So now I'm trying to find my P. So I'm going to match this guy up with 4P. So then 4P is going to be 1. Fun. Now, P is equal to 1 fourth. Since it's this guy, it's open left and right. Since P is positive, that opens right. Right. Okay, so what is my vertex? My vertex is H, K. So, my vertex... That's H. That's K. What? That's a minus minus one. Uh-huh. Why? Because in the preferred form, it's the minus and. That's a minus minus one, so my vertex is at minus one and a deuce. So I deduce my vertex is that guy, so what? If I was going to roughly sketch that guy, my vertex minus one, one, two, boom. Does it open right or does it open left? It opens right, right. Okay, why did I draw that pic? Because my parabola hugs the focus and runs from the directrix. Let's find those guys. What am I changing? I'm changing my x. <laughs> you can't change your x's. That's what an x is. No, okay. Focus. Focus. The focus is to the right. So I'm going to add my p to the x value. So if I'm going to get my focus, focus, I'm going to add it to the x value. So minus 1 plus 1 fourth. What am I doing? I'm changing my x. You can't change your x's. Oh, okay, so I'm going to add 1 fourth to it because my p is 1 fourth. So then that's a minus 4 plus 1 is a minus 3 fourths. So my new focus, since my focus is a point, what am I changing? I'm changing my x. You can't change your x's. Okay, so all right, that aside, I write minus 3 fourths. And that's right there. And what was my y value? It doesn't change. My y value was a deuce. Now I deduce, I need to go and I need to find my directrix. I see that the directrix is to the left of my vertex. To the left, to the left. We're trying to find the equation of that line. That's x is equal to something. So let's find that new something. What am I changing? I'm changing my x. So I change, take my old x. My old x was a minus 1, and I'm getting more negative on my x's. <laughs> so then I'm going to subtract off my p, minus 1 fourth. And when I do, I have a minus 5 fourth. Check it. Good. Okay, so what's that? That's that x. So my directrix is that x is equal to a minus 5 fourth. Whoa, whoa there. Minus 5 fourths. And if I was going to draw it, it'd be that. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. <laughs>